Welcome back. Today we have Dr. Robin Rutherford here with us and we're talking about sugar and our teeth and how bad sugar can be for our teeth. Right. Well, this sounds like a pretty dry thing to talk about, but bear <laughs> with me for just a moment and then I'll give you a little application that's interesting, I think. Have you ever heard the old thing about putting a chicken bone into Coke? What happens, you know, a chicken bone bone is, is relatively hard, you know, it's probably a little flexible, but when you put it in, what happens is Coke and all soft drinks are acidic. Mm -hmm. And so it's like putting it into something that dissolves it. And this is exactly what happens with tooth decay. Uh, a dentist, every dentist will tell you that a cavity, you know, a tooth is supposed to be hard, but the cavity will be soft and we actually just scoop out the decayed part. Right. And it's kind of like it turns it into that chicken bone mm -hmm. that's got no strength at all. Well, this is what sugar does with your teeth. And the way it works is you have bacteria on your teeth, which is called plaque. And that's what you brush off to keep clean. But sugar is the plaque bacteria's favorite food. Mm -hmm. So the way sugar hurts your teeth, it doesn't actually do it directly, but it feeds the bacteria, which then crank out acid. Aha, uh -huh, acid. So that's the key thing. So in, in dental health, you want to, number one, keep the plaque off, which is why you brush and floss your teeth. And number two, don't feed in too much sugar, which is where that ties in. Now here's my little illustration. Sugar uh, is such a big component of soft drinks. And I have a little brochure here that you can call my office and get this if you want, but it talks about how much sugar is in a can of soft drink. Um, Dr. Pepper has almost 10 teaspoons of sugar oh, wow. in a can. Diet Pepsi and Diet Coke, et cetera, have zero. Very important. Uh, Powerade, now we're not just gonna talk about soft drinks, but also sports drinks. Sports drinks promote themselves as being healthy. Right. And they're not healthy. They are for sports, they must be healthy, but they're not really. If you have 10 teaspoons of sugar, one, two, three, now, how many of you would put this much <laughs> in, your, in your tea and you'd say, well, this is going to sink right to the bottom? Yeah. Six, seven, eight in every can, nine. Shall I just pour the rest just, in? Yeah, just pour the rest and just, in. Okay. Now, after we're through, I want you to drink this, okay? Oh. All right? Because that's exactly what's <laughs> in every can of Coke <laughs> and or I'm Dr. Guilty. Pepper. I'm guilty or, of Dr. Pepper. Yeah. yeah. Now, the other thing that's important to realize is your body has the ability to get rid of the acid. Your saliva flows and everything. And for about 20 minutes after you put sugar in, it's happening. But in 20 minutes, it's gone. But if you keep sipping and sipping and sipping and walking around with your Coke all day, it resets the clock every time you take another sip for 20 minutes. So wow. you can just keep it going all day long. So the idea is to drink your Coke, then be through with it. And brush after it. Yeah, or at least rinse your mouth out. Just swish with water. So if you happen to be at work and you have the soda. Right. Just kind of wash out the sugar a little bit instead of giving it the 20 minutes. All right. Well, thank you very much. Always useful information. Give us the number again to your office. 367-0202. What I'd really rather have you do is look at my website which is gentledentaldoc.com, but we have a lot of good information on that. Great, thank you very much, Dr. And Rutherford. you can call for this brochure. Perfect, we'll be right back.